Шановні колеги, а то проспілка за роки... Dear colleagues, during the full-scale war years since 2022, Adamprov Spilka, like all Ukrainian sectoral trade unions, has responded to the challenges caused by the unprecedented, aggressive war launched by the Russian Federation. Many members of our union joined the armed forces of Ukraine. These are uranium miners and nuclear workers. They are the best sons and daughters of Ukraine. During this difficult time, our activity was supported by the Industrial Global Union, Industrial European Union, European Federation EPSU, and their affiliates, including the German trade union IGBCE, the French nuclear union FO Unsenric, the Lithuanian trade union Industry Federation, as well as the International Labour Organization, and many others. We are sincerely grateful and will always remember their assistance. Let me remind you that the Chernobyl plant and the 30-kilometer Chernobyl exclusion zone have been under occupation for 36 days. The occupation left incurable scars, not only in the people's hearts, but also the terrible consequences for the industrial facilities. Immediately after the deoccupation, thanks to the help of Industrial Global Union, we supported our employees in the city of Slavutish with humanitarian aid. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that on February 24, 2022, Russia captured 178 National Guardsmen and a number of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant personnel, and 169 people were taken to the territory of the Russian Federation via Belarus. As of today, 103 Ukrainian National Guardsmen remain in the captivity. According to those who have returned, the prisoners are in the terrible and inhumane conditions. We must return the National Guardsmen of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant to Ukraine. Is it possible for the second attack and invasion to Ukraine through Belarus? It is possible because there is a construction of a military town 40 kilometers from the border of Ukraine in the Gomel region of Belarus now. In 2023, additionally to the exactly military operations, Ukraine experienced an environmental disaster. The explosion of the Kahovka hydroelectric power plant by the Russian occupiers caused the death of people, destruction of towns and villages, and destroyed part of the ecosystem of the Dnipro River. Our union members from the National Nature Park, with a beautiful name, Biloberetskia Sviatoslava, have been deprived from their housing, their property, their work, and their native land. We did not leave our employees without financial assistance. The explosion of the hydroelectric power plant is the most large-scale impact on the ecosystem of Ukraine, which will have the negative consequences in the future for people, the economy, and wildlife on an area of more than 5,000 km. The largest nuclear power plant in Europe, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, lost water supply in order to cool its six nuclear reactors due to the explosion of the Kahovka hydroelectric power plant, and this could lead to the technological disaster. The unprecedented seizure of a nuclear facility by Russian barbarians for the first time in the history of mankind is an act of nuclear terrorism and has not yet received a proper assessment from the world community. From the 11,000 ZNPP employees, about a thousand employees remain at the Zaporizhia power plant now. People who remain to work in the city of Enerhodar are under the increasing pressure from the occupiers. They are forced to take the Russian citizenship since the residents of Enerhodar have no any opportunity to receive medical, social service or any other service by Ukrainian passport. ZNPP employees are highly qualified employees who ensured the operation and safety of the nuclear facility, ZNPP worked and still continue working under the enormous psychological pressure. The exact number of workers who were killed, subjected to the various tortures and abducted, will be established after the deoccupation of the ZNPP. Now Adam Prof Spilka is making efforts to help the relatives of ZNPP workers who were abducted from their workplaces or their homes in their search. As of today, the confirmed list of abducted ZNPP employees members of our trade union, consists of seven persons. Oleksiy Brashnik, Sergei Korsh, Oleksandr Korsh, Sergei Spartesny, Sergei Poting, Roman Matvichenko,
Vadim Trachuk. We call on the international trade union community to help to disseminate this information, give publicity and search for abducted union members. The trade unions of Ukraine have a number of tasks that we can solve in the conditions of war only together with the European trade unions and at the global level. So let's unite and help each other. Slava Ukraini!